Hey, this is Simon with Caddis Fly Shop and Oregon Fly Fishing Blog. Today I'm going to be tying for you a golden stone on this new Arax HR416 uh, Anadromous Nymph Hook in a number four. This is a super cool hook for Pacific Northwest steelhead, Great Lakes steelhead. Um, if you're doing sea run browns down in South America, really, really stout hook. Or, you know, if you're doing jungle perch in Australia, anything where you need a really stout hook that's going to hold up to big, strong fish, this is the hook for you. You could also tie streamers on it, like big woolly buggers or like a slump buster, rabbit strip thing. Um, new hook from Arax, and we're going to tie a stonefly on it. So this fly is tied with a bunch of semperfly stuff. The back abdomen is the uh, dirty bug yarn, and this front stuff here is the uh, UV straggle string. Cool materials I'll talk about as I do it. Uh, makes time pretty easy, and we'll get started. So, I need a hook first, so pop the hook in the vise, and um, we will start by putting our thread I like to use for both durability and building a body on this fly, I like to use a larger thread. Um, I chose 10 Danville's 140 denier thread. Um, and we're gonna wrap up to the eye right here. Build a little bit on the eye to help the antennas splay out. And for the antennas and the tails, we are using the Hairline Turkey Biot Quills in Sulphur Orange. If you just have um, Gold Goose Biots, that works fine too. Um, and for the antenna, we're using the fibers opposite of the biots here. Um, that's what we're going to be using, and then the tail, we'll use the biots. So first, we'll start by taking one of each of these and tying them in by the eye and adjusting the length down to something a little bit smaller, and we'll tie it back. We can actually just tie all the way back to make putting the lead on easy. And then snip that off. And we'll tie the other side in. And then as we get to the back, we're gonna take the wraps right just a tad little bit down the bend of the hook back here and then we'll stop right about here um, and then to help the biots splay out I like to use um, just a little bit of dubbing the dubbing we're going to be using on this which isn't much is going to be a mix of this Hairtron dubbing light brown light olive brown and ice dub golden brown. We're gonna use a little blend of that. So we're gonna take just a little bit of this stuff back here and build up just a little kind of ball back here. And this is just to help the biots splay out so they have something to rest on. So we'll build that up towards the back right here. And then we'll take two of these um, sulfur orange biots and tie them in back here. Adjust those like that, and then kind of wrap that up. That'll help build the body. You don't really need to snip it off, and then add this other one back in here. Yeah. So now that we have both of those in. We are going to add some lead. I don't like to tie this super heavy. Um, I've been tying my stoneflies lighter lately, so we're gonna put about an inch, inch and a half of 0.3 um, lead wire. You can use lead free if you'd like. This is just to help build that kind of flat look on the back of the stonefly. And then I'll leave a little space in front of the tails right there, but we'll kind of tie that in back here. And 
And then right up here, you don't need quite that much. I would leave a little bit of space just for the abdomen and the eyes and stuff. Um, so we'll make the, little one, the other one just a tad bit shorter. So you're looking at like an inch and a quarter, like closer to an inch. So then we'll tie this side on. Um, it doesn't really matter if these thread wraps are messy because all this is going to get covered up. This is just to help give it that wide body shape. Um, so next, what I'm going to do before we do the back is, for the eyes, I like to use these mono nymph eyes in small black. So we'll just tie those in up here real quick by the head. Um, you know, this won't make or break the fly, I don't think. It's just the way I tie it. Um, so secure those in like dumbbell eyes, taking kind of figure eight wraps like that. And so now we'll go back here. So we're going to have to add some materials to make the abdomen. And first we're going to tie in some of this standard tubing dark golden stone. Um, we'll tie it on the top here. This will help create that kind of hump for the back. Tie that all the way to the back. And then um, next we'll tie in a piece of, uh, this is for the wing case in the back. This is cinnamon tip turkey feather. We'll tie this in back here. And so I snipped off the end. And try to get a long piece if you can. Um, if you can use one piece for the whole fly, it's nice. Otherwise, when you get up to the wing case, you can cut it if you don't have enough and add another one. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of, this is also optional, I like to do it when I dub bodies, if I can, if I'm not using wire. Um, just some mono thread. This is the Danville's .006 mono thread. Just make one tie that in real quick back here. We're just going to take wraps around the uh, dubbing of this just especially if you're fishing for big toothy fish um, it helps the body stay together. So then we're going to take some of this dirty bug yarn from Semperfly and tie that in and then it's a lot of steps but it goes pretty quick with this dirty bug yarn. Um, this is the dirty bug yarn and mottled golden olive is the color. Um, and so bring the I'm going to build just a little bit of a taper here, not too much, we don't need a ton. Um, and then we will wrap up to the front. So having a rotary vise helps here. Um, if you don't have one, it's not the end of the world, but it makes this part a little bit quicker and easier. So we'll take wraps up here until we reach where we're going to want to put the legs and the uh, thorax so right about there looks good to me and so then we'll take our thread come back here okay then we'll snip this off and then next um, We'll just take this mono to wrap it around. This is for, like I said, just durability really only. Wire does the same thing, but since I'm not using wire on this, um, I like to use the, the mono thread. Tippet would work if you don't have this. Just something to help keep it together. So then now we're going to take this and this cinnamon tip turkey feather and we're going to wrap this up to the front like this. And then cinch that down like that, right about there. And then we will rib the body with this dark golden stone tubing like this. And then once you get it up here, you can kind of wrap it and then we'll snip it. Okay, so then 
to bring this wing case back, we're gonna kind of tie back on it just a little bit right here. And then we'll add our legs in. The legs I like to use are these barred sexy flaws tan in medium for this larger fly. Um, so we will tie these in back here. And then wrap up to where we want them to end, right behind the eyes, right here. And then bring it around the front. Kind of make sure they're even-ish. Pull them a little bit if you have to. And then we'll snip this. So then next, um, for the thorax, we're gonna use this Semperfly Straggle String. Um, it's got like some UV stuff in it. It really pops when it's in the water. Um, and so we're gonna tie this in right back here. And then we will um, add a little bit of the dubbing just to add a little bit of bulk right there. If you have a material clip, you probably wanna get that out of your way. Don't need a ton, but just a little bit to help. It also gives us some perf uh, the straggle string something to sit on. Um, so we're kind of going to add a little bit in here. And then what I like about this Semperfly stuff, at least the straggle string and the um, the uh, dirty bug yarn, is it makes dubbing and wrapping stuff pretty easy. So now we're going to take this straggle string and wrap. Try to wrap it like hackle. I've found if you wrap it close on itself like hackle, the fibers stick out the most. So we're gonna wrap up right to the legs and then get in front and that's where we're gonna pinch it off. And then, yeah, we'll Cinch it off and then snip it. And we'll add a little bit more dubbing and pull the wing case over and we'll be good. So we'll add a little bit of dubbing in front of the legs. That'll help kind of even like this one out that's doing that. If you put some dubbing up in front of it, it helps a little bit. So then we'll bring this wing case forward like this. Um, the initial cinch on it, you're probably gonna wanna cinch it down um, in front of where you're going to want to do it because we're going to pull back on it once more to add a segmented section. So like I would say right behind the eyes because then we're going to pull back. Like this. And then we're going to add a little bit more dubbing around the eyes and stuff and then pull it forward for the end of the fly. So add our last little bit of dubbing in here and then we'll be done. I like to use smaller dubbing noodles near the eyes just so you don't end up with too much here and then we'll build up to the antennas and then we'll be all done. Okay, and then pull this forward for the last little bit. Okay, and then we're gonna whip finish and we'll be done. Um, I put a little bit of dubbing in before I whip finish. This is optional, but that's how I do it so you don't see the thread. It doesn't help it fish better or anything. Get this leg out of the way if we can. Okay, and so that's the Semperfly Golden Stone with the um, 
the new big A-Rex hook, the HR416. Um, I like to add UV resin. This again is optional, but for durability, I like to add it on these wing cases. This back a little bit here helps it last a little bit longer. And this is Solaris bone dry. And then I'll put a little bit where I tied off to help the knot, but. Yeah, this is a sweet new hook that we got in from ARAX. Really great for anadromous fishing. Um, large, big, strong fish where you need a super stout hook. Um, and then this Semperfly stuff is really sweet. Let us know what you think. Um, you can get all this at caddisflyshop.com. Thanks.